Fellas, AC here. Welcome to another video. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. Omri Le Parfum 2021 release is at the moment one of the most hyped fragrances in the Fragcom. And when I was testing it to review the fragrance, I kept remembering one of the fragrances that I reviewed a couple of years ago. Abdul Samad Al Qureshi Safari Extreme. And my mind kept going back to that fragrance because it's one of my very favorite leather, floral leather, amber fragrances. And I kept thinking about that fragrance when I was testing it out. And I thought it would be a good idea to do a comparison video. So I thought I'll do it today because it's fresh in my memory and I've got very little of Safari Extreme left in my sample wall that Rohit sent me. Rohit, thank you for sending this. I've been trying to get hold of Safari Extreme, which is becoming more and more difficult at the price point that I would like to buy. So let me tell, tell you about both these fragrances and then I'll do a conclusion. So Safari, before I go into Safari Extreme, let's start with Tom Ford Ombre Leather Parfum. Obviously, 2021 release. This was trying to do a flanker to a fragrance that was released back in 2016, Ombre Leather 16, which was a pretty decent leather amber combination with floral heart yeah so 2018 came out i think 2019 maybe um the fragrance was more um sort of dependent on jasmine less of amber more of jasmine and leather yeah and the leather reminded me of tuscan leather a little bit so i was expecting ombre leather parfum to be a richer thicker fuller experience it's just the opposite it's nothing like a parfum would smell. It's drier. It's still very magnetic, still very attractive fragrance. It's, it's more area, drier, and still doesn't depend on amber. It depends on a violet flower to make it more masculine rather than jasmine. Jasmine is still there in the fragrance, and it depends on tobacco. Tobacco is a new addition to the fragrance. It makes the fragrance more dry, slightly airy, and slightly more masculine, right? But it doesn't smell like a parfum. So when, when you first spray it, the leather is more like a new car leather, very waxy and pristine new car, quite expensive interior as well. And it's a little bit sweet when you first spray it. That's the bit which I don't like. And the fragrance takes about half an hour to blossom on my skin and then turns into a floral heart with dominant waxy leather and then towards the dry down, more woody, airy, with a very masculine tobacco and little sweetness, if at all. Yeah, Dry, airy, tobacco leather fragrance with a floral aspect, which is violet flower. That's the fragrance, very little amber, if at all. So still a very nice fragrance, but I wasn't as impressed as Ombre Leather 16. And I thought to myself, why does it keep reminding me of Safari Extreme? So Safari Extreme, the moment you smell Safari Extreme, you know you're smelling something extremely premium quality. Yeah, It's lush, it's rich, it's extremely opulent and beautiful fragrance. Absolutely stunning. The fragrance has this difference. Okay, we'll come to difference later on. But I'll walk you through Safari Extreme in a nutshell. When you spray it, it got this fantastic leather. And with that fantastic leather, there's this beautiful, bitter, sour, floral, creamy floral heart. Nondescript. So I couldn't pick it up if it was jasmine. Probably there is jasmine. Also, there is lang lang. But I couldn't be definite. It has this sour, creamy, bitter floral heart. Very, very creamy. And then in the dry down, it all comes together with a fantastic creamy sandalwood and amber combination slightly powdery ever so slightly beautiful lush fragrance absolutely stunning gorgeous very very rich fragrance excellent experience so that's the fragrance journey if you like so how do they compare what are the comparisons the comparison is the actual waxy leather is still here it's more rich and even more if this is the interior of a bmw this is probably the interior of a rolls royce that's the difference, you know. The luxurious nature of the of Safari Extreme is just amazing. Yeah, and that's the similarity and the difference, if you like. Both are leather florals. This one goes away from leather 
uh, floral towards a very dry arid tobacco dried on. This one brings in sandalwood and it has a very fruity floral approach. So there's a very lush, vibrant orange sourness to the fragrance. They've used orange here. It's, it's more sour than sweet. This one is more sweet in the initial and then the sweetness goes away and the spicy tobacco comes out. There's no, uh, I mean, there is spices here, but this never turns dry and never ceases to be luxurious. So those are the, uh, if you like, the similarities and differences. This reminds me of this and this reminds me of this, you know, 60% I would say similarities. What about price points? So I'm talking about Safari Extreme, not Safari Extreme Limited Edition, which seems to be more available nowadays. I'm really looking for Safari Extreme. I'm definitely going to find a bottle and get it. So price point of Ombre Leather first. It used to be 140, 400 ml. Yeah. Nowadays I'm seeing the prices, Christmas discounts and all that. So it's about 110, 400 ml. Safari Extreme comes at a range of about 75 ml for 150. That's a much steeper price. I used to see this fragrance a year ago, or maybe two years ago, for about 70 to 80, even 100 pounds, but it's gone up. So this one at the moment is two pounds an ml. So almost twice as more expensive than ombre leather on current prices. Yeah? So that's the price difference. Performance. So both have similar sort of performance, but the Siage or Safari Extreme is twice as strong because it's so luxurious and rich and very high quality materials. When you put Safari Extreme on, it easily dominates um, on the leather platform. It also is a fuller, richer experience. So chances of getting compliment in an appropriate social scenario would be higher with Safari Extreme. It's much, much more opulent and rich and more evocative, if you like. This one is more aloof and dry and airy in the end. Almost becomes, it is a designer, right? So it smells like a designer. Safari Extreme smells like a proper big big money niche. That's the big difference in terms of performance. Yeah. Compliment factor. If I was to smell somebody's wearing Safari Extreme, I would definitely compliment him because this is really, really high, high quality, refined taste, luxurious fragrance. You, I'll be very surprised if you don't get complimented, but don't go too many sprays if you already have Safari Extreme. Because of that floral middle, it'll turn into a, a sort of feminine leaning unisex fragrance. Yeah? So you have to be um, conscious of that. Go with less sprays and it's a very strong fragrance. Ombre leather on the other hand, is gonna impress people who really like modern leather fragrances, which are not too masculine. Yeah? So it's a unisex leaning masculine, if that makes sense. So compliment factor, definitely, I think I'm skewed towards Safari Extreme because of its luxurious nature, its richness. And I like rich and luxurious and thick fragrances. Um, on the leather, I'm more leaning towards the original 2018, 2019 version. So that's the compliment factor. Seasons, both are autumn or cold weather fragrances. Both are suitable to be worn evening time and both are suitable to be worn to special occasions. Ombre leather is slightly more versatile. You could wear this to office as well or on a t-shirt and jeans because of the late dry down I talked about. Um, Safari Extreme, I would love to wear this on a t-shirt. I'd love to wear it seven days a week, but it suits a more richer, more, um, you know, sort of formal evening occasion. Dressed up, proper dressed up. Um, I think I, I've covered all aspects. What's the verdict? This reminds me, Ombre Leather reminds me of Safari Extreme. When I put on Safari Extreme, I do not feel like smelling Ombre Leather. It's so far superior than Ombre Leather Parfum. So my verdict is, if you can get hold of Safari Extreme, do test it out. And if you already have Safari Extreme, you don't need to worry because this is far, far superior than Ombre Leather Parfum. That's my verdict. Hope you enjoy the review, fellas. Take care. Bye-bye.